today's video is all about curls and big curls. So the only thing I used was a heat protector, some mousse, some serum. I had two clips, a comb and a curling wand. So if you think this is something you'd be interested in because it's really for any length hair. You don't have to have long hair like me. You can have short hair as well because it can be bouncier and curlier. And um, so if you want to know how to create this look, continue watching and don't forget to follow me, subscribe if you liked it, of course, like this video. And um, you can find me on all other social medias. I'm at Colleen's.Creations and the links are in the description box below. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and give me some feedback and let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, so the first step I do is I always use heat protector. I always make sure there's like an extra one on the end just because that's the weakest part of your hair it's the oldest part of your hair so it's the part that is the bit of your hair that needs to be protected the most and um, so then for this curling tutorial I'm using a fabulous wand I don't know the exact measurements of it so I'll check it out and I'll write it in the description yeah I'll check it out and then I'll write it in the description um, so I turn the heat up to the highest which is 210 I just think it gets it done faster and everything but if your hair is really weak and really brittle maybe use it on a lower heat like 180 or something but if you use a heat protector this is okay then so the first thing I do is I decide um, am I going to part my hair in the middle when it curls am I going to leave it to one side so I think I'm actually going to put it to one side the way I want my hair to look but big and curly so um, then the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of from the crown I'm gonna part it in half so my hair is halved from the crown back and then clip away one side if you aren't used to curling your hair and you've bought a wand most wands come with like a glove and um, that you use on the hand that you're not holding the curler with so I do say you can use this even sometimes I burn myself so prevent that um, so then you can take whatever kind of size you want so I'm going to take like this amount of hair and every curl I'm going to make sure goes in different directions so some's going to face the back some's going to come forward so, so I take a small enough section like half an inch kind of section just because I want these curls to be quite small so starting with this the wire behind the back of your arm so that um, it's not really in the way. So then with the base, the roots of the hair at the base of the curler and then wrap it around. I kind of hold them for a few seconds each time because it's on the it's on the highest temperature so like five to ten seconds is normally okay. I changed my top because in the other one you couldn't be See how the curl was coming out. So again, take a small enough section, whichever direction you want it to go in. I think you to make your hair look a little fuller, you can curl it one to the back, one to the front. So it just gives it a fuller effect, especially if you don't have a lot of hair. And when you're curling it, it goes when you're curling it this style, it's going to make it shorter. So on each half of the hair, I kind of do like three or four sections, kind of depending how I'm feeling. And I take another section of hair down. And then just repeat, just repeat the whole way along and curl.
and with the last section is the one you want to make sure with the last section you want to make sure it's curled as close to the root as possible So then we're starting now on the other side, so it's the exact same process the whole way up. Um, I only do something different at the very front section here, so I'll fast forward all the curling and then get to that part. So when I'm curling my left side, I find it easier to hold the curling tongs behind um, because if I hold it in front, um, there's a chance I'll burn my face. So when you get a curling, a curling wand proposed to a curling tongs where you roll up, you kind of just have to play around and see which way works better for you.
What I'm doing now at the front section is I'm actually taking like really small sections so that on top it's a bit bigger and fuller at this side and then this side is a little bit smoother and back. Now then, just with this little bit of hair left over, I'm gonna curl it all back in really small sections. So this is the only part where I do it all in the same direction, so it's all back. Curls. So now I've curled the whole lot and um, the next thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of mousse in. So this is L'Oreal Alnet Satin. Um, I like this just because it gives it a little bit of volume and a little bit of hold and I only ever curl my hair in this kind of style when it's like maybe three days old or three or four days old before like maybe the day before I wash it so if your hair is, is too fresh and too soft the curls won't hold but this gives it a little bit extra Sometimes I will kind of just leave it like this as in if as if it's like just like a natural curl nice and big um, But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna add a little bit of serum and smooth that out So what I do is I put a pump use the Kerastase Elixir And I just put like a pump on my hands kind of roll it in, roll it in just take sections of hair and just brush them out just smoothing them out and I like my hair to look big and a little bit crazy. So then the same with the other side, because you can tell a slight difference now, look at how it's kind of brushed out, so a bit more natural, a bit more volume, or this is just looks like ringlets. And then scrunch it. So this is the final look and it didn't even take that long to do I think um, like I'll obviously edit the video but I think to to do it it only took like 20 minutes 20 minutes a half an hour and um, and then normally I would get like two days out of this and so tomorrow I'll probably like use the curls and pin it up a different way or like I said we'll, I'd do this the day before I'd wash it so I'd wash it and um, but I think this is really nice and it's it's easy to style as well because once your hair is curled like this you can just pin it back at either side and keep it nice and curly at the back and um, I think it's a real go-to style for like day and for night and if you're having a busy day or something so you could do it do it in the morning then you can have it for the, the all day and the curls will stay for you a bit of hairspray in it and and then you can pin it up in a, in a cool way in the evening 
So again, I really hope you like this tutorial and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Colleen's.Creations where I put up some more content as well. If there's anything you want me to do or anything you want me to try out or give you some advice on, comment it, comment below. Or, um, so thank you so much for watching and um, I hope to see you soon. Thank you.